Hey there, thank you for tuning into SimTech channel in this series of tutorial on components of an electrical substation. In this tutorial, we're going to look at yet another crucial component found in an electrical substation, namely the neutral grounding resistor or in short NGR. If you walk into a substation, you're going to see a structure that looks like this. It will be most likely or mostly located near a power transformer or sometime it will be mounted on top of a power transformer. So that is your neutral grounding resistor, basically a mounting structure. So as you can see here, this is an overview of every component that make up this neutral grounding resistor. This uh, particular element is very crucial in power system, just like every other element in power system is very crucial to basically provide uh, safety, right? So it need to provide safety reliability and the operational stability that every uh, electrical consumer wants from the power grid as this device is mounted on top of a transformer or somewhere near a transformer its main purpose is to provide the shortest path for the current to flow to the ground as we all know the electrical current is always trying to return to the source where it come from by choosing the Path with the least resistance. So by providing an earth grounding resistor through the transformer neutral point, we are basically providing that path for the current to flow. As you can see here, there we've got a generator, three-phase generator, and we also have a three-phase transformer. Then we have a neutral grounding structure here on the transformer and another earth neutral grounding here on the generator side it is important to note that the neutral grounding resistor does not protect against fault it limits the ground fault it limits the current to a safe value that does not mean that we should now let the car the fault current to just flow no as you can see here we still have a current transformer here despite the fact that we got a neutral grounding resistor here we still want the current transformer to be able to detect the fault current passing through this cable wire here and send the appropriate signal for the circuit breaker to basically trap the line and that way the substation personnel will then send a technician to go and fix uh, whatever that may have caused the fault current to occur so that's in a nutshell what is the role of this uh, neutral grounding resistance so now let's just discuss quickly uh, briefly uh, the type of uh, earth neutral grounding resistance that you can find in an electrical substation great so just a quick reminder if this is the first time you've tuned into simtech channel and you find this tutorial useful or interesting please remember to give this tutorial a thumbs up and also subscribe to simtech channel that will be highly appreciated and your support is indeed welcome thank you so much there are basically three types of earth neutral grounding uh, connection that you can get so the first one is the straight one solid where we're going to take this resistance here we replace it with a solid wire basically you're just making an earth like when you're doing an electrical installation you take the earth wire down to the ground but in this case we're going to tie it to the neutral point of our generator or our transformer straight to ground and we also have the resistance type that's basically the one we're looking at here where you uh, implement a resistance in between the neutral point and the ground that way this resistance is going to limit uh, the fault current to a value that is safe that will not cause trouble but remember that limitation must still allow the city to operate so that limitation must not fall below the value that is set for the city to trap because if you do that then you are eliminating or defeating the purpose of the current transformer to trigger the, the circuit breaker. And the third type of earth grounding is via the reactance. So that basically means we're going to take this resistor away and place a reactance there. And you know what that means. It means an inductor. And we know inductors that basically your reactor. So power system, they use lots of reactors for fault limiting capability so i've got a tutorial where i talked about reactors uh, capability in power system so you have to note the fact that even though you're going to place a reactor here to limit this fault current to an acceptable value you still must allow your city to be able to detect that fault current because if the city is no longer able to detect a fault current you're basically defeating its purpose and you're rendering 
your uh, system here basically uh, unreliable okay so the system still need to remain reliable by being able to detect fault current and breaking interrupting so that the technician can attend to the fault so before you can replace a reactor here you have to ensure that the value the new value of the fault current will still going to be within the margin for the current transformer to operate so that's important to note great so now before we end this quick tutorial let's take a look at some of the advantages of having this system in place and what to look for before you can opt to using an earth neutral grounding into your system so the advantages obviously we've discussed it already the chief advantage is to limit the ground fault but you have to ensure that the coordination with the city is not undermined okay so that is one thing you have to note and having an, a neutral grounding resistor also enhance the system stability in in terms of transient stability when a fault current occur so you can have your system get out of balance because something obviously is going wrong in the system but if you have a neutral grounding resistor or reactance you can improve that transient stability in that system can continue to basically operate until the, the the system the technicians are able to attend to the problem so that's one of the advantages so it will provide you the operational continuity so things are not going to fall apart they're not going to break down before someone can attend to them so those are some of the advantages of having this uh, neutral grounding resistance on your system now if you want to choose one obviously it depends on the type of system that you have so obviously implementing it into a system will definitely depend on how high the fault current is so if you are dealing with very small measurable fault current then you can do without that because you know okay uh, your current transformer or the system can be able to withstand that fault until the breakers interrupt the fault so you won't need a, a neutral grounding but if you know you're gonna have huge magnitude of fault current then probably definitely you're going to bring in the neutral grounding resistor to try to limit those ground fault so those are the things to consider if you need to select this earth neutral grounding so in conclusion the neutral grounding system is very important in power system network because it gives you reliability it's maintained the system continuity of supply that's what we want as consumers and it protects your equipment so that is very good and it will also protect the personnel in case of maintenance and to keep the safety standard on point you also need to have these systems in place so now after watching this tutorial you can walk into a substation with confidence and when you find something like this you will know exactly what it is and what it's doing there its purpose and how it is connected and which one it might be you will not know unless someone actually tell you which one they install in there so that is it guys for this tutorial thank you for watching if you find it useful please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel that will be highly appreciated until next time cheers